Oh, what are you doing, lady? Come on. What are you doing? Seriously. What is up, you two? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Out for a nice early morning ride. And thanks for coming back. Hey man, you know, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button below. It's finally been nice enough to uh, kind of get out here kind of consistently now. Take our uh, usual route here. It's nice and quiet, not too busy today. You know, I gotta love the back roads. You know, it's just nice to chill out and not worry about some jack hole getting up on my ass and trying to pass me. Yeah, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the weather a little bit. But this is also a little bit of a test because uh, Right now, I'm running two microphones in the helmet. Uh, if you've been watching, you know I haven't been super thrilled with the way the audio has been coming out on... Uh... So, I've been like banging my head. I've been thinking, oh, it's the microphone. You know, is it the GoPro? And uh, I think I finally figured it out. And if this test works out, we might have some good audio. So basically, when I got into wanting to do the motor vlog, I kind of did what everyone does. Is they look at the videos of like, what is what, what have been motor vloggers been using? And mostly they've been using that uh, USB mic attachment where it's a USB connector. It's got like a like a three to four inch adapter that attaches to the GoPro and you can plug in a microphone, a lav mic onto that. And that's been kind of like the go-to tried and true method for, for as far as I can tell for several years. So when I was looking at getting uh, the GoPro for the helmet here, you know, I wanted to get the GoPro 8 since it was the most recent one, figuring the image quality would be best. But I was like, man, I don't really don't want that adapter because it's just another thing you have to attach to the helmet. When I was looking at the GoPro, I saw that they just came out with this new thing called the Media Mod. And the Media Mod was an attachment where you slide the GoPro into it, and it has two external microphones and a built-in audio jack for an external mic. So it's like, well, if I don't have to attach that extra piece to the helmet, and it's all self-contained into the GoPro, that's a bonus. So there's not a lot of extra weight on the helmet, a little bit less wiring. You know, if I have to, if I don't have to put a, a USB wire plus the lav wire, I was like, win-win, right? And as you can see here, that's the media mod with the GoPro on it. And I just have the lav plug, uh, plugged into the back. You know, I started doing the videos and man, I got back and I was like editing them and I was like, man, the audio just sounds terrible so bad it's, it's just like my voice just wasn't clear you know the, the bike was like competing over my voice I'm like that shouldn't be I mean the, the lots in the helmet I should be isolated a little bit I mean I know it's not gonna be quiet but it should be isolated somewhat but it just wasn't getting it so I thought maybe it's a different microphone I tried a different lav and that one was even worse so I was like, man, I just need to find, figure out a reason why this doesn't work. So when you go into the app and you have the GoPro attached to the media mod, a couple options come up. If you don't have the lav plugged in, you have some options for the shotgun mic and the Omni mic on the back of it. So when you plug the lav in, uh, a new option comes up showing that you have a lock plugged in the back and it overrides the shotgun microphone on the front of the media mod.
there's literally no settings for when you put the lavit. It just says, all right, the, you're not going to use the shotgun mic on the front of the media mod. You're using the external jack. But there's no gain settings. There's nothing. There's just, it's on. So, and this is why the media mod sucks for Motovlog, because there are literally no options for gain or um, any other settings. So what I figured out is that the media mod is doing some sort of processing to the input. It's using some sort of compression or its preamps are just terrible. I mean, it just sounds horrible and it's doing some sort of compression to to the uh, GoPro. So, so you're not getting you're not getting a really clean signal to the GoPro and you have no way of adjusting it in post. So there's an option you can record um, a high quality audio file separate from the GoPro file, from the video file. And from what I could tell, all that is just different bit rates to an external WAV file. And that doesn't do anything different. It sounds exactly the same as what's recorded onto the actual video file. So the I figured the media mod is doing something process-wise to the mic input that's making it sound pretty bad. So I was like, how do I fix it? Well, looking around, searching, I think the only solution I figured is either I go get that external USB adapter for the GoPro, which then I have to attach it, or I found a uh, external lav recorder. So I ended up purchasing the Tascam uh, lav recorder, and it's kind of like it's kind of marketed towards wedding videographers. It's really inconspicuous. It, uh, it's only like in two inches by like an inch and a half or so. It's pretty small. So unlike the GoPro, it actually has some cool features to adjust the audio. You can uh, adjust the gain settings. It has a limiter on it as well. And it's got this cool dual record feature where it records two tracks, uh, one at one specific gain level and then a second track at like a minus 12 dB. So you have like a safety in case something gets really loud all of a sudden and it needs to, you know, it won't clip. So you have a backup track. As of right now, I'm recording both audios, one from the Purple Panda through the uh, media mod and the other um, through the Tascam. Uh, both mics are on either side of the helmet. So I have the Tascams on this side, the Purple Pandas on this side in the exact same placements too. So they're recording the same thing. So the task cam is now mounted on the back of my helmet on the back side here where you can't see it. And I have the uh, lav wire running through the helmet to the back. And it's super light, so it doesn't really make a weight difference at all. It's probably lighter than the GoPro attachment. So it doesn't add any extra weight to the helmet, which is great. That's the last thing you do. And, and since it's on the back of the helmet, it uh, shouldn't be introducing any sort of like weird drag on the helmet itself. So you can kind of hear the difference between the two. Now, hopefully the Tascam sounds so much better, clearer. You know, you can still hear the engine. You can still hear me, but it's not overwhelming. And I felt like the, uh, the, the GoPro just does the processing where it's just compressing the hell out of out of the the mic and you're getting too much engine you're getting a compressed voice i can't get any separation between the two so hopefully this is a lot clearer needless to say i'm pretty disappointed by by gopro and the situation i mean there should be some settings in the app to let you adjust the audio you should have the choice to turn this processing on and off like I think that's a major oversight in GoPro's part. I mean, the media mod in theory is a great device. It keeps the GoPro pretty compact and you know easy to use. It's got that shotgun mic on the front if you're not gonna use a lav, but the processing that it's doing is just horrendous, like terrible. 
I can't believe there's not an option to turn it off. I mean, it's really just really crappy. I mean, it really should give you the option. Yeah, I feel like you need to give people the option to do, to choose what they want done. They're trying to make it easy enough for the common user to just, you know, turn on and go, not worry about settings. So I'm hoping that this, you know, makes these videos more intelligible, like just better viewing experience, because to me, when I'm watching videos, if the audio sucks, I don't want to really want to watch it. I'm trying to get this right, because I just can't let you guys watch something that I, that I wouldn't want to watch personally. Hopefully this, uh, hopefully this makes the video quality better. And so with the future videos, it'll be a lot better to watch. So when I was researching how to set up a motor vlogging helmet, you know, everyone was still using those old GoPro attachments, but while they still, I think, work pretty well for some people, I think if you're gonna try to go more minimalistic approach, I mean, I think this Tascam option is really good. It's not too expensive. It's more than the GoPro attachment. You know, it's like 200 bucks. If the audio quality turns out good, it's worth it. Yeah, I think people are way more forgiving of video quality than they are of audio quality because you can get you can get by with you know crappier video. I mean, technically the GoPro 4 isn't as nice as the GoPro 8, you know, but it's not going to ruin the viewing experience. But like distorted and like hard to hear audio, people are just going to tune out. They're not going to they're not going to care. They're just going to be like whatever. Can't hear it. Moving on, click, next video, here we go. The Media Mod is just not a great option to rely on audio for motor vlogging. I think it was a good try by GoPro. I think they uh, have the right idea, but it just, it just fails in the execution. You know, maybe they can update it in a firmware I mean, I really wanted it to work. So I think I might uh, ditch the media mod if the task game works out and just go with the GoPro mounted on the front and then use the media mod for other things. This, la this lady up here, I don't know if you see her, man. She is just all over the damn place. I mean, it is ridiculous. It's crazy. Let's go see her. She's not even looking. Stay far away from her, man. Yeah, so I'll just go go with the GoPro in the front, task game on the back. This will be my uh, mode of vlogging setup for the foreseeable future. And the great thing about the task game is it's got like a long battery life. It can record like six hours straight before you need a battery change. So you don't have to worry about uh, the battery dying on the helmet. The GoPro is going to die a whole lot faster than the task game will. If you're looking at uh, setting up a motor vlogging setup and you're trying to figure out audio, you know, consider consider the external live recorder like the Tascam. I can't recommend the media mod from GoPro. I just think it sucks. But if you uh, if you like the way this sounds, it's an example. I'll put the link below to the Tascam that I got. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button below. Let's keep growing the channel. Remember, goal for September, 100 subs. Yeah, well, thanks for stopping by again, YouTube. And I'll see you on the next one. See you, YouTube. Keep riding, stay safe. All right, peace out. <laughs>